What is happening? Hello, everybody. In our cricket screen. Cricket screen. <laughs> hey, Grammy Karen. Hi, Grammy Karen. Let's see if I can get it up on my phone. We're in the garden. We are in the garden. <laughs> Thought we'd mix it up a little bit. Yeah. There it is. That is so crooked. <laughs> I told you it was. <laughs> can you hear us? Oh, I didn't want to do it. Can you well, hear us, Grammy Karen? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rachel Sutton. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Joni. Hi, Hannah. Hey, Whitney. Hey, Darlene. Hey, Ashley. You have so many new members of your family. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Westlin. Hey, Lazy Bunny. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Christina. Hey, Homestead Engraving. Hey, Stephen Back in Time. Hey, Karen. Oh, hey, Jan, Jan. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Hello, We're on our everyone. phone tonight, so it's uh, we only hey, get a Mama few Bear. few messages at a time. I've got my phone though. Yeah. So hopefully we can keep up. We just wanted to be outside. It's been raining mm -hmm. for like uh, probably just two days, but it felt like a lifetime. Well, it always falls on the weekend. Yeah. And that's what is the bummer. It's pretty every so day through the week. So then comes Monday, and we're like, we just want to be outside. Right. So yeah, here that's we, where are. we are. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing well, though. Hopefully, everyone had a good Monday. Amber, hey, Hackett's Healing Hollow. Tell Penelope we said hi, too. Hi. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Nathan. Hey, Laura. Stormy and cold in Massachusetts. I think we are getting some storms. Too. Later this week. Yeah. Um, hey, Grandpa's Farm. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Mello. Hey, Sandy. Lisa. <laughs> we had a busy Monday. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Hey, the mayor's daughter. We'll wait till a little bit more get in here before we. It was pretty hectic. Full blown the story, pretty, but uh, uh, pretty chaotic for a Monday. <laughs> but that's our lives. We got a new fridge Birds today, growling. and so that's a uh, that's your hint on what happened, and yep. we'll we'll talk about it here in a minute. <clears throat> Karen said it's pouring in my part of Massachusetts, so we got two people from Massachusetts. Cool. We sent it y'all's way. <laughs> Y'all pray for everybody down south. They got yes. hit really hard hey, uh, with the storms. It really wiped out a lot of people. Um, Lazy Buddy said my kids moved to Elk. Goodness gracious. Y'all are going to get to hear all the animal noises because we're outside. <laughs> they're bored, I think. But they're happy the sun's shining, so it's mm. made them a little bit friskier than usual, I think. We've got chickens on top of coops. And... <laughs> Drying their pen up a little bit. They're yeah. probably happy. <laughs> Hey, Mary from Washington State. JNC's Oregon's outside, outside too. too. Nice. Awesome. It is beautiful. A little bit chilly, but not too bad. Hey, Wanda. Hey, Quebec Homestead. Yeah, lots of birds singing. Hey, Little Feet Farm Homestead. The, the pigs are doing amazing. They really are. They're um, our best animal right now. Yeah, Knock on wood. I think wood. they're, they're uh, definitely on top of the, hey, Mom. the hey, list Tammy. right now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> because they just behave themselves and they keep to themselves right. and they're just fun to watch but they're mm -hmm. overall they're just so relaxed and lazy and just hang out yeah everyone else and wants to act crazy they're about this close to being 100 percent careful yeah. with me uh so i have a bright red harbor freight bucket that i use um to put their feet in and so every time i shake it and hear pigs pig suey getting them getting them used to that just in the case that Grammy ever... Karen, thank you. Oh, thank you, Grammy Karen, for that super chat. Very nice. Um, so I shake it every time, just start getting them used to. That's what we feed in, in the case that they ever get out. So yeah. I'm trying to bucket train. Um, and so now pieces, the mama, <laughs> smelling it every time I come in. So she's inching closer and closer. So yeah. And they wag their tail when we talk to them. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's, like I said, it's been raining. Lordy day. Oh, is he? Got a, like a motorcycle speed um, race going on. It's been raining. So y'all know how, or maybe you don't know, but some animals, like goats, don't like to be wet. So they will stay in their houses when it rains. Chickens, however, are just pretty dumb. And they'll stand outside and get soaking wet before they go in their coop. Um, so all the animals are doing weird things, but the pigs are just smart. And they just stay in their little shelter and keep mm -hmm. themselves dry and warm. They're just smart little animals. Hey, Carolyn. Hey. I thought that was a cow moving. No, that was a, you could a hear a bite. cow. Um, the people across the um, uh, the ridge, I guess we're on a ridge, and then you have the road, and then there's another ridge on the other side. They have cows. I heard them all morning. They got a lot of cattle. They usually, this time of night, I think they're already headed in. Yeah. 
but during the day in the morning you'll hear them and they're really sweet so we have a plan if it gets hey, dark hey, Chris, our hey. lights are on yeah so that should give us a little light which that's good to uh to say <clears throat> uh we're not doing a full hour um we'll be doing about 30 <laughs> hey, 40 Gregory. minutes or so uh tonight they they just kind of work better when we do 30 or 40 minutes because the chores are getting larger yeah. in charge so um just an fyi i still gotta do dishes uh, we've already milked so that's out of the way but i gotta do dishes and get the kids settled and clean up for dinner and all that fun stuff mm -hmm. oh tiffany awesome i hope the beans are doing well rainy geese. and cold here tammy says hi geese hey, there's fine, two love. of them do you hear them <laughs> <laughs> Then you have the guineas because the geese are flying. It's like we literally live in a nature preserve. <laughs> it's like a I love shoot. it. Yeah, it's, you never know what you're gonna. There's a swan that hey, comes Michelle. in our pond. I didn't even know we had swans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a crane sometimes. There's yep. a crane. Oh, that's what I meant. Not a swan. Yeah. A crane. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's huge and it comes in and out. Hopefully not getting our fish. <laughs> hey Grace, how are you? Hey Marty. Um, hey Jimmy. Love the animals, Tammy, so. we did go. Like, we went live Friday. Yeah. So we tried to make up for that. Which <laughs> was we... your dinner wet? No, it was not. <laughs> I made burgers and hot dogs on yeah. the grill, so I took mine off while they were juicy and left hers on a little bit longer. <laughs> and they were good. And I had a hot dog. Oh, you know what I found out today? I like relish. All my life, I've thought that I don't like relish because right. I thought it was like dill pickly, and I don't like dill pickles. And I just decided to, because he always puts it on his hot dog, and I was like, well, you know, let me try it. Like, I want to like it. So I tried it, and I liked it. <laughs> um, little Feet, so I was sorry to hear about John. I talked to many days being positive. We're not totally sure what's going on there. We need to contact him afterwards. Yeah. We, won't, we weren't uh, able to watch the live because that was when we got our fridge ordeal. <laughs> Adele wants to know how you, how you like wet relish. <laughs> <laughs> well, Zach was smart, and he told me, he said, shake it up real good before you do it. Right. And I'm glad he did, because it just would have been liquid. So yeah, and then it would have ruined the hot dog for But her. I only put, like, a tiny bit on it. But it was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, Meadows, Mellow Meadows Garden. How many chickens can I keep at an 8 by 8 coop? I missed the name. Um, it also depends on if that's just where they're sleeping, or if you've got, <clears throat> if you're, like, fencing them in a little tight, or we have a... A little bit more open area. Eighth by eighth is pretty big. That is pretty big. That is, what did I tell you that was? That's three, three, six, nine. That's about nine by nine. Yeah. And we could fit way more chickens in there than we mm -hmm. have. I don't know an exact I forget number, what it but is. That's but that's a really big space. You what is it? Fit. A chicken, two chicken per square foot or a chicken per square foot? Something. You, can, you can cram quite a few up in there. Hey, Aunt Patty. Hey, CJH. One per every two square foot. There you there go. There you go. Just so to eyeball it. Yeah, you can get, have a lot in there. Get you, get you 10. You got plenty of room, get you 10 more. Yeah, <laughs> that's just, how we do uh, it. Make them a little run and make sure they can get out. Yeah. And um, still be safe. But if they're just sleeping in it, yeah, they'll they'll cram in there like sardines. <laughs> Tammy said, since we've been clearing out some land, are we going to plant some fruit trees? So, yes, we yes. have five, no, four planted down the road. Yes, apple uh, trees. Which we're not sure, like two bloomed, two mm -hmm. others didn't. Uh, so, we're just kind of letting them be and see what happens there. Then we got three more uh and our greenhouse that we're about to plant and also two blueberry bushes so yeah that is that is for sure happening i missed the name but somebody said take bread and butter pickles and make relish that would be really good that's I and that's kind of what that. we did remember i would always chop yeah, them up that's and true. stuff we put it in like tuna salad and stuff like that that was good um zach ate my first bee at alpha cucumber from my garden today nice. Wanda says, that's awesome i hope you loved them we cannot wait to have our cucumbers um, Amber's suggestions on power tool set to start with. I have none, but planning to buy some ASAP. Um, so, here's your thing about tools. You're going to see all kinds of tool sets that are cheap, and you're like, I can get a lot of stuff, a lot of bang for my buck. Uh, don't do it. If you can, go ahead and do DeWalt. Um, I'll, I've had hey, string film. Stanley's, Craftsman's, Cobalt's, a little mix of everything, because that's kind of like the Christmas thing to get a guy. Uh, if you don't know exactly what to get him, you get him tools, right? So I've had a lot of those kits, and they just, they, you pay for what you get for. Uh, and I love DeWalt. Uh, we are not sponsored by them, but if, if they're watching, <laughs> I'm available. <laughs> um, I'm available. <laughs> uh, but I just love everything DeWalt. It's sturdy. It's good. You, it, it changes your life after mm -hmm. you've used cheap tools. So anything DeWalt, get, hook yourself up. Relish on beans. You That'd might be good. like beans. I might like it. Put relish on them. Hey, Miller's Garden. I like it. 
Um, somebody asked, Barefoot Chickens asked if we'd ever eat, or if we'd ever had chickens that have foul pox, can you still eat the eggs? I'm so worried, new to chickens Damn. and tripping out. And I don't know what that is, to be honest either. with you. So I, I You don't. said the word, and I was like, what? Foul, foul what? Foul pox. Foul pox. I don't know what that is. Hey, never enough time. We have been is that a chicken pox? really, really lucky with... <laughs> I mean, I would have said it wrong. I don't know. Well, then, then it wouldn't it be extremely appropriate to call it chicken pox? Right. Because it's chicken. I don't know. <laughs> um, we've never had a chicken with a disease besides Crossbeak, and he actually passed away. He did. Which was really was super difficult. Sad. That was the Thank saddest. you, Amber, so much. We really appreciate that. Thank thanks, you. Thanks, Ella. You, you guys, guys are the, the best. best. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, but yeah, our little Crossbeak. He was our meat chicken, but he was Crossbeak, so obviously he didn't grow like the other ones did. So we knew that he wouldn't live very long, but our plan was to keep him and not process him because right. he didn't grow like the others. So he wasn't and he big, was but he did grow. I mean, he did eat. Um, he, he ate just fine. Friend. Yeah. And he unfortunately passed, which was difficult, but you know, he's not suffering. So mm -hmm. that's okay. Poor little guy. Um, everything I've always heard about Crossbeak is really they only live for a few weeks. <clears throat> Have you taken case off yet? Case off yet? I don't know what that means. Adele Crossbeak passed away. The little bitty. The, my little guy that yeah. had the Crossbeak. He was a meat chicken. Did we show him in a video? I'm talking about him like we did, but maybe I'm we pretty didn't. sure we did. I don't know. I think yeah, we, we did. About him. I think maybe once, but yeah. he would run to the fence to me. He would actually jump through the premier one fencing because he was so small. I'd put him on my shoulder and everything. He was my my little buddy. Um, Judy, cucumbers do well in the hot weather. You just got to make sure you give them a lot of water. Cucumbers love water, mm -hmm. especially if you have them close, uh, planted really close together. Yeah. Oh, and I, that's what it was. I saw someone to ask if they did. You just talk about the Americana cucumber? No. So someone asked uh, they Armenian, the, Armenian, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know me. Um, if they could use it for relish. The answer to that is yes. Uh, and it actually made me think of something about tomatoes that yeah. we keep getting asked. And it's fine to ask, you know, if you don't know. But what's our favorite slicer? What's our favorite canning tomato? This and that, like all of this. So one thing about like us, everything's a canning tomato. Mm -hmm. Every tomato we Even grow cherries. is a canning tomato, period. Um, the only thing that we make a decision on for like slicing is do we want orange, yellow, red purple you know like those because right. we like low acid so uh, if we're doing slicers we do the whites and the oranges to like eat on sandwiches and some reds for canning you're not going to go wrong y'all on uh canning any tomato mm -hmm. um we like the bonnies best because they're round and you don't waste a lot right um so you kind of got to think about those if there's <laughs> if it's a variety that molds a lot and you're going to be cutting off a lot and you're going to waste a lot then yeah maybe that's not the best one to do canning but every tomato is a good canning tomato. Yeah. Um, you know, we've had people talk about, I need to get spaghetti sauce tomato, or I need this kind of tomato. Mm -hmm. They're all like that. Some yeah. are a little juicier, some are a little meatier, so you'll find the ones that you want better. Uh, but don't narrow yourself, narrow yourself down too much uh, um, on that part, because they'll all work good. Joni said, how big do my beets and carrots need to be before I thin them out? Um, I'm, I would say first true leaves, so you can truly see what's gonna make it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, let them get their true leaves and then see which ones are more established because then it's not such a hard choice. It's hard to thin them when they all look good. Um, but really, as soon as they all pop up and get, you know, maybe an inch or half an inch tall, you can start thinning. Um, let's see. We'll be pulling up our carrots, which I don't know if y'all can see. No, you can't see them. Um, we'll be pulling them up this week uh, because next week I'm actually... Hey, honey, said. I'm actually going uh, on vacation. It's something that we do about every year, uh, and it's funny. I, I don't think people at work really understand, but I take the <laughs> the planting week off. Yeah. Uh, just because there's so much to do when it comes to planting and to our actual summer garden, I just take the week off so we can just focus on getting that done and doing it right. Yeah, it's nice. It's gonna be gonna be awesome. It'll allow us to get a lot done. Um, hopefully within that week. Someone Is there said, a storm behind you? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Storms actually come behind you all. Hey, Tinker's uh, wife. They always come west to east on Hey, us, Team Benson. Which is our house face west, which we're in the backyard, and then this way is east. Hmm. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Missy at Shore Homestead. So should we tell the uh, 
the fridge story. Yeah, hold on. Elizabeth said, have you transplanted your cucumbers to raised beds? We haven't. Mm, we right. haven't um, planted any of our summer crops yet. Every, well, in the garden beds. Right. Um, everything is still cold crops. Today was actually our last frost. And it's funny because the Weather Channel didn't say so, but the Farmer's Almanac did. And last night, even we checked before we went to bed and it was not supposed to frost. 39. We woke up this morning and there was, was a, a very light frost. So thankfully we followed that and did not put anything out, but today was supposed to be it. So the next 10 days, it doesn't even look close. Yeah, but this week what we're doing is hardening everything off for sure. They're mostly hardened off because they're in the greenhouse, but we're just going to keep making them stronger until they go in the beds next week. Yeah. Why are you laughing? Tammy, she says the fridge <laughs> open again. <laughs> no. And we got a new one. Mm -hmm. So that was the exciting. So what basically our fridge was okay. Um, it was great. It worked fine. We got it because our last one went out, but it was used. We got it on like Marketplace or something right. like that. It was the side beside door. Y'all probably saw it. Worst in design reviews. ever. Yeah, Don't even know tight. why they make fridges like that. Right. But it's a good fridge. Right. So, we also have a deep freeze. It's one of the lay on the side ones, not the stand up ones, uh, which I don't recommend those if you're looking for deep freezes because everything no. just piles on top of each other. Yeah. But you got to take like everything out mm -hmm. to get some. Anyways. Live it and learn. <laughs> right. Well, that was my great, great aunt's and it was like yeah. 20 bucks. So, it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we was like, we need to get another fridge for two reasons. One, this one has no room. Yeah. And two, our deep freeze is already full and yes. we need to like clear out space for all of the meat that we're doing yeah. and all the different stuff because we now have that freezer for and that the and the fridge and the, milk the goats and the milk is it takes up all the room in the fridge right so hey we got for a minute homestead all that milk all that butter all that stuff that's just taking up room for normal stuff mm -hmm. anyways we decided we're gonna find a fridge so we find one we actually ordered it like 10 days ago yeah it was a long time ago and we got a brand new one y'all that is the first time ever yeah that we loaded it today and i have ever bought any appliance new <laughs> we we loaded it and we looked at it and was like we've never got an appliance that was still in the no. box <laughs> so, that was cool. so that was quite the 30 year old accomplishment yeah. to finally buy a brand new appliance um well anyways we had to move our original fridge to our bedroom because that's where we're doing it it's by the deep freeze so all that stuff's together well it was heavy okay. and i forgot how heavy it was um it's on wheels but it would only go forward and backwards it wouldn't go side to side crazy let's put some spinny wheels on this bad boy how about that so i'm thinking that we're just gonna roll this thing right on in there super simple nope never that way okay so we've already never unplugged it i've gotten it far enough to where i can't plug it back in time's ticking right <laughs> timer's on we've got fresh goat's milk in here we got all the freshness that needs Which to stay cold should not have been that way because we should have removed everything from the fridge shoulda coulda woulda shoulda coulda woulda so we were just trying to do this in a hurry and make it simple. I run down to Gress's house, as y'all seen on our videos, and I'm like, I need your dolly. So I get the dolly, I run back up the hill with the dolly, and so I look at Jen with the dolly, I'm like, should we remove these things in the fridge? She goes, we're just going right there, it should be fine. I said, it should be fine. Okay. <laughs> She said it's really full. Also, I didn't realize how far it was going to tip on the dolly. <laughs> I thought it was just going to be like a slight tip. <laughs> so I say, she said, well, it's really full. So I'm thinking in my head, like, like it's not like so tight that well, nothing's not moving. And everything was tight enough that it wouldn't shift. I was like, okay. So me and her are trying to get this thing up and like, so I've got the dolly on the backside, but I can't really get a grip and hold the dolly. I'm like, Jen, you got to tip this thing over for me. I was like, I can't, I need like, like an yeah, extra. Hand. okay, I got this. Right, so she starts tipping, I'm like rolling. And so I finally get it stopped and we flip it over. Everything's okay. We're, we're on the dolly, we're moving, we're safe. We get to our bedroom door, which I thought was the same size as our outside mm -hmm. door. Because we were able to get that thing in with no problems. We didn't have to remove anything. It just went right in. Well, I, I go to pull it in. I was like, shh, shh, shh. It just. The wall literally went with it. The wall, yeah, the wall literally went. And then all of a sudden. I said, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I was like, it, fine. I don't think it is fine because I can't get this through. And so I'm like, I've got to put it down. It's the door handles were caught. You know how they stick out a little bit? So I'm like, I got to bring it down. Help me slow it down. Yeah. And so like I'm bringing it down. And all of a sudden it, Again. Okay. it just <laughs> like so much for slowly. 
All of a sudden, she's like, I hear dripping. I know. It wasn't dripping. It was a waterfall. <laughs> I said, I can't open it. And so, well, you're going to have to. I said, no, I can't. I said, you got to open it. We got to get it out, whatever it is. Of course, it was a gallon, a gallon. of goat's milk yeah. that decided to go. Shattered and was just cascading down <laughs> just the shelves like a waterfall. of the fridge. So when I open the door of the fridge, it releases and literally it shoots out like a waterfall all over and the And mind carpet. you, we're in, in the living, we're in the living room now. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. So first off, Ellie's like, this just, is... Yeah. Ellie's like, this is the greatest day ever. Yeah. She's just lapping goat's milk all over the place. And I just stood there. He said, well, you got to get it. I'm stuck in the bedroom. I just shut the door back and I walked away. <laughs> like, I'm no. stuck in the bedroom because we got so <laughs> wedged in there. I can't even get through unless we move oh the fridge. I see her standing like, let's do something. <laughs> oh, and we just bought groceries yesterday. Yes. So. We, Everything was covered in milk. We followed our two-week rule, and we finally ventured out after that was because we had just <laughs> deplenished all snacks for yeah. the kids. Uh, so we went and bought way too much. She went in. Like produce, you know, things that really soak up milk. Milk. Things that aren't in packages. <laughs> <laughs> so that was fun. Uh, apples. That was like a four hour ordeal because then we had to just leave the fridge where it was take everything out everything out wash everything down get all the milk off everything then we had to remove the door handles which were super glued on oh yeah so one came right off because you know like you don't see the screws so you just pop these things off screws bum, bum, good to go <laughs> one apparently whoever owned it in the past broke it <laughs> and decided they were going to super glue yeah. the fire out of the back side <laughs> of it so i hear them chipping away at our door handle i look at them like at least it's going in the bedroom, yeah. right? He looked at me at one point. He said, "You good?" I said, "Well, it's a good thing this didn't happen last Monday on our anniversary because it might have not ended well." <laughs> oh my gosh! So I finally get this door handle popped off, and I'm like, well, "Are we ready to get it in there now?" <laughs> <laughs> so we did. well, the, we got one more part. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm trying to shimmy. Well, it's cut just a little on the wall, Can but I, on the paneling. But I'm like. I can nail that back up. I just want to get this on fridge in this bedroom. So I just kind of give it a, a, a nice little tug. Well, it released right on, and thank goodness, y'all. This was kind of serious. This was thank kind of serious. Thank and I was goodness. Like, that would have made a bad. Our bed, movie. right? Our bed was right there, so I just sat down on it. And held but I was down. and just held the fridge. But as I said, I'm like, if this bed wasn't there. I'd be laying on my back yeah. with this fridge and Dolly laying on me. Meanwhile, so, I was trying to look over the fridge like, you good? Yeah, now she's saying, you good? <laughs> Long story short, we got it in there. It took us two and a half hours to clean up all the yep. milk, all milk the milk on the inside. Milk doesn't soak up in paper towels, if you're wondering. Now, so, given so our, old, had to be removed. our old fridge looks as clean as our new fridge yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, one thing I also learned um, the other day when we went to the store, well, I went to the store, which is another story in itself. That's never happening again. Um, <laughs> the only cleaning supply they had were Miss Myers. I we like Miss Myers. Myers. So uh, that the was where I, gra I grabbed great. it and I was like, why is somebody else buying this? Like, I love this stuff. Didn't work on the fridge. Everything's still sticky. Yeah. She's like, it's just <laughs> so like. now a, I understand why everybody doesn't She's like, it's just it. fragrance. <laughs> it's just, it's just making good. everything smell good, but it's not getting the sticky off. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going through every Sam's Club wipe we have, <laughs> wiping down mustard, <laughs> wiping down ketchup. Oh my gosh. And then we got the fridge finally at like four o'clock and got it here. And Which we got was it super in. smooth. So that was uh, good. We had and it's help. beautiful. It's a beautiful fridge. Yeah, it was great. It's, yes, it's we the did French shot door one with the <laughs> freezer on the bottom. When we were in North Carolina, we had one like that. It came yeah. with the house and we have missed it ever since. Yeah, it's so nice. we, we finally got one. And, and we're super it happy. should work for a very long time because it was new. So. It's Maytag, so it's yeah. exciting. <laughs> Miss Myers probably washed her fridge every week. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> also, when we moved the fridge this morning, we took it out. And I don't know about y'all, but behind the fridge was just terrible. It was like spices that had fallen and stuff. Dust. I looked at him and I was like, sometimes I really wonder about us. <laughs> Sometimes it looks like we could be on episode of Hoarders. And we literally clean every, every, every day. But not behind the fridge. Not like, the who fridge. does that? Well, and that's what she pointed out. She's like, I never wanted to be this person. Yeah. I always wanted to be better than this. <laughs> I literally said, 
How many people do you think is pulling their fridge out <laughs> like every other day and cleaning back yeah, there? I said, well, some people do, and I want to be that people. <laughs> I would have said, I'm never going to be that person. Because <laughs> now we got two fridges. <laughs> right. Which is cool. The fridge in our bedroom. Yeah. Who doesn't have a fridge in their bedroom? <laughs> Stringfield, what works on the sticky? Baby wipes. Yeah, baby wipes. <laughs> Old faithful. Yeah. I use baby wipes. For we get day. the big Sam's Club ginormous thing of baby wipes. Mm -hmm. Allison said, I don't know anyone who cleans behind the fridge. Good. <laughs> right. <laughs> that makes me feel better. Tammy said, I'm afraid to look behind mine. It's been there 10 years. That's what I'm saying. Or the stove. Yeah. My mom always said, don't, don't disturb the dust. It won't disturb you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Team Benson is patiently awaiting sheep. My HOA nice. will find me, so I'm living through you guys with the animals. That's awesome. Hopefully you can get them. Um, we, I don't know if we'll ever have sheep. We'll see. Um, we would need another hey, pasture. Dawn. We, we'll have to get another pasture. Cast our mama said I do mine about twice a year. Hey, that's better than nothing. Someone said once a year, twice a year. I, I give you that. Probably not going to happen here. Probably not. <laughs> Especially now that we have a new fridge that won't go right. out. Get 15 <laughs> goats, 100 chickens, two pigs. Yeah. Four, seven rabbits. Yeah. Two kids. Huge Karen dragon. said, do you have a backup generator? We do. Um, what happens when you need to get the fridge out of your bedroom? Nope. It's staying. It's going down with the ship. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yet, yeah, speaking of other pastures, uh, so my cousin's land beside us, we, we're dreaming of it. Um, we, I mean, he, he's not trying to sell, but it might be a possibility yeah. one day. Um, the problem is, like, you know, he doesn't really want to sell, and it's family land, so, like, the price would have to really be worth it. Uh, for him to sell his because I mean right now it's not costing me anything it's all great-grandfather's land so um, I don't know um, we, we might try to figure out something but I would love to own that because that's another six and a half acres of just complete pasture mm -hmm. um, and that would really open us up to a lot of things but we're gonna have to save yeah. more than what it costs for that fridge to get <laughs> right. it <laughs> um, Beth said when freezing yellow squash should it be boiled first like greens or can it be just be sliced and frozen I always blanch mine for about 30 seconds to a minute, just blanch it, throw it into cold ice water, and then let it drain, like on a cookie sheet or something with parchment paper, and then freeze it. That's what I always do. Um, it's supposed to preserve the tastiness and the crunch sometimes, but it's hard to keep it crunchy when you're freezing it or canning it. But it does help a little. Well, I want some says so they have 11 and a half acres, but not all that uh, usable. See, that's why I like that six and a half this over here because every ounce hey, of six and a half acres is usable and that's yeah fantastic we have wood he just but cleared, they can he, be cleared right he he actually cleared that land was it two two years ago now two and a half years ago yes yeah it, was, it feels like it was a couple months yeah. ago but i think it was like two and a half years ago and so it's all open they left the big pretty trees but got all these you know cedars and stuff and uh locusts the locust trees out everywhere um amanda said how do you deter snails in the garden don't you do something with beer? Yes. I think you, Mimsy's Garden. Check well, her out. She made a video about it yeah, last she year. she did. But I think she put like a bowl full of beer. I think so. And they attract to that. Something like that. And they something? just go in it. I don't know. Something like that. You'll have to check her out because she did a whole thing. And it was it. very funny too. It was hilarious. <laughs> yep. A saucer of beer. Uh, there you yeah, go. Yeah. Uh, Nate Miller saucer. said, Cyrus, can you give my shout out to my wife, Kelly? We love you guys. We're both watching in different rooms. Hello, Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly and Nate. Oh, y'all get in the same room and watch. <laughs> um, Grandma Sandy said, I hope you're all being safe out there, my awesome friends. We are just uh, hanging to ourselves. We did venture to Walmart, and by we, I mean me, because I wanted to see the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, we've and only I regretted gone. it. Greatly. We've gone so many places. Literally, it's been feed store, yeah. and there's a Dollar General. Which the feed store is literally right down the road, and it's country road. So you don't get to like right. see. You don't go What's in. What's going on in the world? And they don't even let anything. you go in. You right. just you you call in. They bring you out your receipt. And you just back up, they load your truck up, and you leave. Yeah. So, and then yeah. on the way home from that is the Dollar General, which is yeah. where we usually get our snacks. But we needed some different. We needed things, produce, like apples and stuff I, like that. I so. looked at her and I was like, 
Why is like not eating anything? Yeah. <laughs> Besides, <laughs> my snacks. plan was to like take away all the things and then force him to eat other things. No, the kid no. was just gonna boycott it. Yes, I mean. he was gonna starve to death. So I'm like, we've got to get some apples, some peppers, some grapes, yeah. stuff, ham. ham, the stuff the boy likes. Stuff that I can't make. So he'll eat something. Right. Yeah, he was just gonna. <laughs> he was in for it. Get back home. Said you go enjoy a movie. Hole. Jen and I watched The Martian yesterday. Oh, yeah. I know we're way behind the game I here. I fell asleep. Uh, she did. She didn't really like it. No. Uh, Matt the Damon. end was cool. I'm like, we could have just skipped all that. Right. He was like, you did. The only <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said we could have skipped all that. Half the time I'm like, I, I, she woke up. I was like, you did skip it. <laughs> it's too much. Too much talky talk. But anyways, uh, the ads that I remember, they put so much focus on him growing uh, plants in Mars. Yeah. Um, but I felt like that was like a minimal thing. I mean, it, it's still like saved him. He grew potatoes. That was really cool. Um, and I thought it was neat. Um, but it, it was like kind of like. He was a botanist. A botanist. Yeah. It was like a side thought though. A little bit, you know. Yeah. It wasn't as much of a focus as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. But it was still a really good movie. I liked it. <clears throat> it was interesting. <laughs> we don't watch movies much. And usually it's flip-flopped. Usually I'm the one that falls asleep and she's up. Yeah. Um, but I was actually but into he this picked one. It, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Usually, I don't get, I don't pick right. the movie. I mean, we do that so rarely. It's we watch more in the winter when we're stuck inside, um, or a rainy summer day that we just we can't get out. Yeah. Um, Donnie said, "Hi from oh. Maine. Can you show how to do tomato Mama Z's. Yeah. We've been watching Waco. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we just get we yeah, just finished um, it too. Hold on. Yes, we will show. We had a whole week again. in a rain. Yes. <laughs> All right. So I got started on Waco and I didn't know anything about it. Uh, I'm kind of like in a hole in life sometimes. I think both of us are and we don't really know about these things but I found it and I was like what's this about? And Waco you know everyone knows Waco for uh, David Koresh. Well no. Oh, like Chip, oh, and Joe Chip and Joe and their store and all that stuff um, so I was like well what's this about and I clicked it and I started watching it and I got absolutely hooked and, then and I, I did too. I was very interested. I think as we well. watched the whole thing in two days. If you have not seen it, watch it because it is really, really interesting. Just finished Waco last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's then good. that snowballed into I had to find other documentaries right. about Waco, and I think we are pretty much experts. On yeah, that yeah, we got it. We we understand both sides. Biggest thing with anything you watch with this stuff. Yes. There's two stories, or yeah, There's two stories to each side. Yes. The truth somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Because each side's gonna. Because what we noticed was. Waco is not a documentary. Right. It's an actual TV series that they made Netflix, based on that. Yeah. Right. And it's um, two of the survivors created it. Right. Yes. Yeah. And so, the uh, the FBI negotiator. Yeah. So Fox it is it is very leaning towards David Koresh side. Yeah. And then you watch the documentaries, and it's very leaning towards ATF FBI side. Right. So you got to you got to take your yeah, own opinions find your own and find what you think in the middle. But it's cool to see good. both and. Yeah. Uh, it's wild. Yes, it's on Netflix. It's wild to see, you know, just depending on who's writing it, what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And so it was neat to see both. Yeah. It was really, really good. So that kind of got us in a rabbit hole of other weird things. <laughs> yeah. We got onto the Kool-Aid guy. I mean, <laughs> but uh, that one we didn't finish. That one we I, got I'll let that That was a little out there for me. I <laughs> yeah. was like, <laughs> that one was wild. It's <laughs> weird. So I'll let that out. We gotta go bed. <laughs> this is this is enough. Oh man, yeah, it was good though. Very sad. Um, if you don't want to be sad, don't watch it because yes. it ends very sadly. Very much so. It's not a uh, pump you up kind of series by any means. Little Mountain Life said great acting. It really was. Yeah, it was. Uh, and it's wild how close they made uh, everyone look to mm -hmm. like uh, resemblance to hey, the, the real people. It was it did great. Hey, arts world yep. of outdoors. Back to gardening. Elizabeth, will you start okra or do you direct sell? <laughs> we've <laughs> we've actually uh, started ours in the greenhouse. And so they're about <laughs> yay tall. Um, the thing about okra, they don't really kick off till it gets hot, hot. Yeah. So that's why we did it because we have a greenhouse and they can get, you know, 90 <clears> plus <throat> up in there in no time, even on a 50 degree day. Mm -hmm. So that's why we started them. Um, if you plan on direct sowing, um, it's fine to direct sow once you're out, but you're not going to see a whole lot. Um, and so it starts getting really warm and your soul's re soil's really warm. Um, so if you're able to start them, <laughs> I'd recommend it. Why not? Cause I mean, they, they do take a while to get their eight foot selves. Tammy said, if you love homesteading and history, watch Outlander. Outlander. I'll check that out. <laughs> the Disney kid. Yeah. That's kind of where we were at with that. It was just a little too out there for us. It, yeah. That it wasn't was really relatable much. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Sharon, we are not doing loofahs this year. No. Don't have room for it. And still have an abundance from last year. So it wasn't really much need to. But maybe next year. Because it really was a beautiful thing to have in the garden. If we could put mm -hmm. it off like separately somewhere, that would be really cool. Right. Hey, Samson. Broussard said they always direct sell. But they're like he said, they have, they have the luxury of southern Louisiana. Yeah. So, yeah, down there for sure. I would never start if we were that warm. But, you know, like right now it's going to be like 44 tonight. Yeah. Um, and then, like, we'll have a 70-degree day tomorrow, and then it'll drop down to 40 or 50. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't um, say that we have a rushed gardening season, but it kind of is. I mean, it's not You very, need to start. It's not very long, needs. but it's hard to say that compared to other states. But it is a limited <clears throat> amount of time. Well, I can give you a quick rundown, too, because we've had the experience in this. So, tomatoes, you get one round. Yeah. Um, now, you can, mm -hmm. you, can do, you can do a second start in June. But if you don't if you don't get all your tomato plants out by about June, yeah. you're not going to get a very good harvest right. out of your tomatoes. So we we can't have our tomatoes run and then redo them again and say mid June and get another har another harvest. It's not going to happen. Um, we can't do it for peppers either. Peppers barely make it. Barely. <clears throat> we basically have to take everything green. It gets uh, hot here, but not for like a long really long enough. amount of time. Right. It'll be hot for a week and then it'll be back to 80s or you know low 80s it's right not super super hot right so most of our pepper harvest is green mm -hmm. until we hit about august or september then we finally start getting our peppers turning so yeah. it, that's why we don't focus too much on what it is because we're just eating the green pepper um what we can do multiple rounds with is uh cucumbers squash um bush beans stuff like that um we can do two rounds of those um and still have a good harvest uh each time but that's about it when it comes to summer crops I'm your real dad, so how do you have time for everything? Me? How do, time for everything? Um, really just priorities, you know. Not every day everything gets done, right? So. Like today with the fridge incident. Right. Not everything that was supposed to be done got done, but that's okay. Yeah. Everything priority-wise always gets done. Animals, watering, <clears throat> um, garden most of the time. Not always like the pruning sometimes may get pushed off to another day, but immediate priorities and i'm and i'm gonna shoot straight the tv's never on yeah. until the weekend happens for we listen to the myself. radio a lot that's actually what i was gonna say yeah. so like instead of tv like i feel like a an old old timer <laughs> because I, actually our phone is propped up on my d yeah. walt radio um i love i love our little local radio station that's my entertainment mm -hmm. i really enjoy it they play a lot of old country music it's just enjoyable um so i have that playing all day yeah. just everywhere where i can hear it i really enjoy it mm -hmm. um and i don't stop there's no stopping uh my sit down rest time is when i have a meeting at work <laughs> that's when i actually sit down and do something if i'm not on a meeting or responding to emails i'm up doing something quickly um it, i mean some days are tight and i'm not done until we go in and sit down five minutes before bed and i'm asleep before yeah. the five minutes is up <laughs> um but you know that's why we appreciate the rainy times and we binge watch netflix right you know so that that's my regroup and you know i'm like i'm 30 so i right now i still have a lot of energy um but you know we we're a great team uh and i think that's a key factor mm -hmm. um when you're this busy is you've got to be able to rely on each other uh to get everything done yeah um because you gotta remember you, we got you know you got kids too and they need some attention as well so a little divided and conquering but basically my biggest thing i'm sorry i'm rambling um the biggest thing i do is when we have something that takes us a lot of time like a lot of time to finish a chore that's a daily or weekly thing we move that up in priority to yeah. figure out how we can make that shorter um, because it's it's no chore should take you longer than say 30 minutes yeah. like milking uh, unless you have dairy cow that takes long <laughs> uh, but yeah so if you have something that's taking you a long time to do make that a priority and figure out what ways you can do it to make that quicker mm -hmm. so sorry for the rambling agreed um yeah Stringfield, you have to be a team to get it all done there's just no way that one person can do it all um welcome to your care said you're new to the channel that's awesome nice. Uh, Lazy Bunny Acres said, do you do anything besides ACV to the water? No, that's all, that's all we do. Yeah. Um, let's see. Maria said, I'm in SoCal too. I have tomato blossoms and small tomatoes already. Nice. That is so awesome. Y'all, we are this close to buying a hot tunnel. Yeah. We're really. We're narrowing it down. We're just trying to figure out which one's best. There's so many options. We, we really like it. Tunnel Vision. Yeah. Is that the brand? Um, it's a, the brand's called Tunnel Vision, which I hadn't heard before. Uh, she came across that bit. I really like their company. It's pretty cool. So um, we're interested in one of those. We're really trying to figure out the style that would work best for us. Mm -hmm. um, 
and I think like we are going to do it. Yeah. Um, and it's going to go behind. You can see the gate here. Back there yeah. is about the flattest spot we oh got. Gosh, my neck hurts. I can't yeah, my down. back hurts. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you got me down. Yeah, it'll go right <laughs> there. So we're thinking about a 30, excuse me, 30 foot wide, 50 foot long. That'd be pretty. Um, a lot of people keep talking about how it's not dark here. I honestly thought it was going to be dark at 8.30. So I'm shocked that it's not. It usually is. So well, I guess. the sun's setting. I mean, it, yeah. it's definitely darker in real person than, Maybe the, it's the, than the phone showing. Helping out. The phone makes it look a lot lighter. Hey, Kelly from Ohio. Seven back of time is building a, uh, let me just see if I can start, a wallapini greenhouse. Wallapini, I don't, awesome. I don't think I've ever heard of that. We do have a light bulb out. There's yeah, a few light bulbs yeah out. there's a few. <laughs> see, they're, they're individual lights, which is pretty cool. I mean, that's a good thing, right? So we don't have that whole situation. If one goes out, they all go out. Yeah. Um, but they're, they're literally like light bulbs that you would have in your house. Uh, but yeah, there's a couple out, um, but it's so pretty. Beth said, I'm gonna get a portable hot tub and put it in one of my greenhouses. That is a great plan. <laughs> there you, <laughs> you go. That. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Ours is behind us here. I literally cannot. Hey, Blondie, my head. you're right. She <laughs> said it, uh, there should be a thing called like garden math. Once you get a little bit right. of space, you always want more. You always want more. That, we preach that mm -hmm. every year. You should be expanding your garden, even if it's just making one more garden bed. Uh, there's always more room to make more garden. Little Mountain Life said, "Are y'all you are are you live streaming using YouTube Studio or a different app or platform?" Studio. Is it studio or is it just straight from YouTube? I don't know. That's that. Well, that's what I meant. Yeah. It's straight from, straight from just YouTube. Just like when you get on it Which, and you hit the little live button. <laughs> right. So, on. <laughs> what there's. On, the best explanation I had. <laughs> on your computer, it's from studio. That's how you, gotcha. you do it. But from your phone, it's just YouTube um, that you go and hit the live button. Petra said, How do you water your ceilings, bottom or overhead? Um, bottom. We actually did a video last year um, about watering and can you do it wrong what's wrong what's right um the whole point is you if your plants need to drink your plants need to drink yeah so uh there's no they don't get sunburned uh on the outside if you put water on top of them and the sun shining that's not a thing yeah um but it can cause other things hey, Tammy Lane. um it can cause your leaves to drip down in, or lean down into the mud or soil and that causes potential blight um which is what a lot of people actually think is sunburnt when they start seeing that um, truly, you're just in early stages of blight. <laughs> also, if you're in a greenhouse and you start getting that yellowing and burnt looking, they got froze. Yeah. Uh, or they, they got hit by some frost. Uh, so that's what that stuff is. But try to bottom, uh, bottom water so you can uh, push for root growth. But if you have to do it on top, it's not going to hurt your plant. Uh, just try to make sure they're not laying in the dirt. Dayless, thank you so much for the super chat. She said, being a new urban homesteader gardener has been such a huge blessing when I'm not working in the hospital. I'm so glad this year I can do so much more. So we actually got to meet yeah. her. Was it yesterday or the day before? It was Saturday. Was it? Sunday. One Saturday. of those days. The days are all running together. But was, we got was, to meet her. It was Sunday. And that was the coolest thing ever. It was yesterday. Was it? Yes. Help me. Sorry, Delina. <laughs> <laughs> but it was very special. She's awesome. Her parents are into watching us too yeah, it was uh, cool. they're gonna come down once this quarantine stuff's unlocked and uh, bring us some awesome food yes. and help us out in the garden so we were really excited to meet her um, Nate said got any ideas on zinnias that have leaves turning brown they are seed started <clears throat> turning brown so I would have to wonder about the conditions because the first thing it sounds like potentially frost um, if it's not that I know this sounds silly, but they're either not getting enough water or they're getting too much water. Or maybe they need fertilizer, right? They might need a little fertilizer, but they shouldn't just turn brown if they're in decent soil. I'm not sure what that was, no. and I see Raylan running. What happened? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh, the cat? Oh, okay. Well, that's good. At least it was her. Hey, Christy Lee. Who was it? Um, let's see. Uh... That's a very good point. Uh, it might just be the, the first set of leaves. Um, they die off anyways, um, the baby leaves. And so if that's what it is, then you're good to go. <laughs> um, Tammy said, please tell everyone about Butcher Box. I just started with them, love them, good people and good meat. Yes. We love Butcher Box. So we have a refer a friend link, yeah. which we all, I mean, everybody does. You get $30 off, we get $30 off. I'm not sure if that's been turned back into key yet. I don't think yet. it has. Right uh, now they have a waiting list. Well, when was the last time you looked? It was a few days ago, but I'm pretty okay. sure it's still set. So what okay. that means is they're serving their current members, but not new members yet. But you're on a waiting list. 
So as soon as they open that up, they'll just start going down the list. Which they will soon. Um, but if you don't know what Butcher Box is, we've posted a bunch of videos on it. Um, and you get your meat to your door and it's awesome. It's all farm raised meat. Um, it's grass, grass fed, grass finished. Um, and we love it. It's mm -hmm. so good. We actually got some bacon from the store. Yeah. I, I don't know why she did. She came out with bacon. I said, we, bacon. we literally have over 10 packs of bacon in the deep oh, freeze. <laughs> and, but the thing is, it was weird. Okay. I started panic buying just because it was a weird situation and I didn't want to be in it. And I just started grabbing things off the shelf. It was like supermarket sleep up in there. I just, it was terrible. Sticking away. You know, like you had to wait in line. So like I'm looking around, I'm seeing stuff. I'm like, yeah, we'll get that. Why not or the we'll ginormous <laughs> size of bacon? Great value size. Uh, anyways, um, we cooked that today. Yeah. And all we've ate is a butcher box bacon for what, four months now? Yeah. And we tasted like, wow, this is not... I not, didn't think we would complain bacon. about bacon, but we have gotten so used to the butcher box yeah. fresh bacon that it didn't even compare. It didn't even taste anything. Hey, like Christina it, so. Jenkins, welcome to the staff chat. Awesome, welcome Yay. to the membership. That's cool. Thank That's you. That's awesome. Um, it is eight forty-five, and we talked about only going for thirty minutes. Yeah, so let's wrap it up. <laughs> there is one more thing. If some people asked, and so I, we debated. I don't know if she decided. I don't know if she's going to do it or not. No, we're doing it. Yeah, we're doing okay. it. Okay, it's happening. <laughs> so uh, Jen and Etsy. Yeah. So. Do you want to tell them? You want, no, it's your, it. it's no, your you thing. You got this. You started it. You go. You finished it. You're in it now. I'm in it to win it. Okay, I'm backtrack. Um, <laughs> she has opened her Etsy store. First off, there's only four items. Some things have already been bought, so there's a very limited supply. Yeah. So uh, basically, we're testing the waters, mm -hmm. seeing if what we have in our situation, we don't want to get overwhelmed right. uh, with orders. So it's just a few things. Yes. You can go buy it. Yeah. Um, but it's going to they're probably going to go out of the stock fast. Yeah. Um, there is lemon balm tincture, <sighs> calendula salve, a couple bars of soap left, and uh, loofah seeds. Yes. That's it for now. Yeah, but we did cut some comfrey today, so yeah. we're working on comfrey salve, which there'll be a whole lot of because yeah. we'll have a whole lot of comfrey. Can they see it? Move, move your yeah. back a little. You see? I the letters are there. No. Well, right there where the carrot bed <laughs> is, it was, I mean, huge. And we cut it all off. And that's the thing about comfort. It'll grow So right how back. do we do that? Oh, is it in the description? I don't think it's in the description. Um, okay. <laughs> um, so, I'll yeah, we are making comfrey salve, which there'll be a ton of. Um, we still have a lot of calendula salve. We can still make more. And we're working on more soaps and lotions. There is some soap in there, but not a ton. But there will be more coming. The soap is such a process that it takes time, but it's, it's working on it. But yeah, exciting. Uh, thank you everyone for saying congratulations. We figured out the labels finally. We figured out the shipping. Um, it's really cool how you can just print your own labels. So that works out really good. Hey, Goldshaw, how are you? Hey, Goldshaw. Um, it all kind of fell into place. And all those things were what we were really, really, or I was really nervous about. I was worried about shipping and I was worried about That's labels, weird. making things look good and stuff like that. So. Um, we got that all figured out over the weekend, and it went well. I think Zach's working on the link. I did. I copied it, and now oh, I'm, it hitting, I'm hitting paste, oh, but okay. it just it doesn't show. That's fun. <laughs> so that's weird. Um, what are we gonna do? What? <laughs> what are we gonna do? Um, if you go to Etsy and search Stivers Homestead, yeah, you'll find it. You'll find it. <laughs> Should have planned that out a little better. <laughs> well. It is well, what it is. It is what well. it is. Well. We'll have to, uh, I don't know, put it in the comments or something. and then There you go. <clears throat> we'll put it in the description and all that. <laughs> I just said Etsy Stivers Homestead. Did it work? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Literally, just go to Etsy and search Stivers Homestead. Etsy.com. And it'll pop up. It's our logo. You'll see it. Yeah. And then we'll put it in Sorry. the comments. After this is over and we get off the live, we'll put it in the comments. She the says that, but I'll probably forget. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Coming at you. Coming at you. <laughs> But okay, yeah. It's yeah. been fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, we went 50 minutes. Yep. So. Yes. <laughs> Breaking our own rules. Always. We always. always. Y'all are y'all are awesome. We enjoy talking to you. Um, it is starting to finally get a little chilly, but y'all got to see the lights now. Yeah. Uh, it is getting dark enough. Uh, type it as one word on Etsy. Type it as one word. Does that work as one word? Try one word. Gotcha. Two words. Um, unfortunately, we can't do another 50 because we have some some good... Oh, there it is. Tammy got it. Oh, Tammy's the best. Thank, Thank you, Tammy. Um, two Family Homesteads on at 9. And, and Freedom then, Homestead. And Freedom Homesteads on at 9. So make sure to go check out our good friends. We definitely don't want to roll over into their time. 
Yes. Get tongue tied. Hugs to everyone. Stringfield said hugs. It made me want to say it too. Hugs to everyone. Yep. Hope everyone stays safe and away from the bad weather. Hopefully, if you're in that area, it just passes right on by you mm -hmm. and everyone that you know and love. Oh my God. And Amanda said woohoo. I ordered it all. <laughs> 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 anyway, all right. that, the few items in there are going to be out of stock before this night's over. Oh, we'll see. Um, I get, well, there's not that many. It's like that's true. four or five orders, <laughs> and it's going to be out of stock. Um, but yeah, we love y'all. And yep. stay safe, stay home, and stay healthy. Until the next one. We love y'all. Bye. Bye. Thank you to the moderators. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>